Hey friends, one of my favorite two-handed card games is Schnapsen, based on the German 66. Schnapsen is the Austrian national card game. And I recently picked up this very beautiful Doppeldeutsch Schnapskarten deck from Piatnik. And these are really, really high quality cards. Just to compare in size to a French deck, they're longer. You can play German uh, 66 as well because they include the nines, which are a value of zero in 66, but this gives a good chance to show all the suits side by side. You've got bells, acorns, aren't those cool? Leaves and hearts, just like the French deck. Of course, for those of you in Hungary, Austria and Germany, you're going like, yeah, so what? This is what we grew up playing. Well, for those of us in the United States, we've probably never seen these bell suits, but I think they're absolutely beautiful. There are some differences here. Let's check out um, comparing. First of all, what's really neat is that the women um, are the represent the highest card value, which or ace. Um, they're called deuces in this deck, and they're really beautiful. You've got summer, the seasons, winter. Um, in German, it was that uh, Freuling or springtime. Isn't she pretty? And Erps or the harvest, fall. Check it out. Actually, those are two boys uh, mashing grapes there, not women. So in value, anyhow, this would be 11, or the ace, 10, Roman numerals. Then you've got the king, which is uh, scores four. And the um, ober and unter knaves in, these, in this deck correspond to the queen and jack of the French deck for values of three and two respectively and they're all just by name they don't say um ober or unter on the card so obviously there would be some uh, cultural transition there in in getting used to these cards and all the characters here are from the william tell folk legend of swiss independence um the battle for swiss independence from Habsburg. Uh, aristocratic feudal rule um, dating back to the 1300s or 14th century mid medieval um, ancient German history um, culminating in the um, revolutions in the uh, in 1848 uh, for Swiss independence and William Tell is actually um, he's an acorn over here so here's the main character, William Tell. This one character here in the hearts suit is the bad guy, uh, Herman Gessler, 